koshas and doshas, our energetic playground. This is Wendy Reese with Whole Being Inc. What is an energetic playground? Within us we have chakras, koshas, and doshas. That's where our life lessons play out. That's why I call it the playground. Think of it like the swings, slides, or monkey bars. In this lesson, we're going to be covering the koshas and the doshas. There is another video on my channel for chakras. I invite you to check that out. What are the koshas? Within you is a divine infinite being. For now, we'll just call it your essence or soul. There are protective sheaths, kind of like a screen protector for a smartphone. That's a type of sheath that protect this essence. And there are five of those sheaths. Each one covers outward. The outermost one is the Anamaya Kosha. It's the sheath of the physical self, such as skin, flesh, fat, bones, and it's nourished by food. Pranamaya Kosha is the breath body. It is the force that vitalizes and holds together the body and the mind. Manamaya Kosha is the mind body and includes the five sensory organs. It's where we play with I, my, and mine. Vishnamaya Kosha is the wisdom sheath. It's a deeper knowing that also includes the five senses. It's subject to change, is limited, and not constantly present. Anandamaya Kosha is the bliss body. It is the reflection of your essence. It's most accessible in deep sleep or meditation, and it is the truest knowing of your pure consciousness. The doshas are the makeup of our human body. We all have three that are based on the elements. The goal is to keep them balanced for proper digestion. Everything we ingest, literally or figuratively, needs to be digested and either assimilated or eliminated. The doshas help with that. Vata is air. It moves the air in our body, nervous system, and aids in downward movement of digestion. Pitta is fire. It's what makes digestion happen. Kapha is earth. It's all the lubricants in the body. It's all about cultivating balance. We have limitations for the experience of moving from a contracted state within the limitations to an expansive state once through the limitations. Our energy can get sometimes stuck within the limitations. It's like a child who just loves one piece of playground equipment, like for instance, the swing set, and rarely plays on anything else. We create patterns called samskaras. These can turn into deep ruts when we're imbalanced. If we're willing to dig in and find the roots of the samskara, we can start to cultivate balance. It's like removing the weeds so that the plants that you actually want to grow in your garden aren't competing for nourishment. It's a pretty simple explanation of all of this, but it gives you the general idea of what the koshas and the doshas are. Are you ready to go deeper? I'd like to invite you to check out wholebeinginc.com forward slash you. There is an eight week program called Choosing You. And it's all about looking at the archetypes and how they play within the chakras, the doshas, the koshas. And it really gives us a very good example of how we show up in the world. It's really a, a roadmap to our soul and our personality. The challenges that we play in in this lifetime, the patterns that we get stuck in, and it gives us a very powerful tool to shift out of that and into our highest self. Check it out. I'd love to have you join us. Infinite love and gratitude. Till next time, be whole.